I'm here uh, with a member of the Mexican delegation from uh, of the Mexico delegation on the uh, World Intellectual Property Organization. It's July 19th. We're at the Copyright Committee, and I was just wondering if you could start by uh, 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 telling the leader, uh, the listeners, a little bit about yourself and what you do uh, with Mexico, and what's happening this week at WIPO on this issue. Well, uh, my name is Jose Ramon Lopez. I follow WIPO issues of uh, the Mexican Mission. And uh, I can just tell you that uh, I've been here almost three years. And since we arrived, we, got, we engaged in this process following the initial proposal of Brazil, uh, Ecuador, and Paraguay, uh, supporting the instrument proposed by the World Blind Union. Uh, I'm happy to, to say in my personal experience that the process has been moving forward. Since we took over, um, I think we, we have engaged all the countries and we have seen how this is improving and we hope that we are coming to, to uh, an end fast. This is our purpose and, and we'll do all we can do to, to pursue this, this end. What do you, uh, is, uh, is there agreement yet on whether this is supposed to be a, uh, a treaty or some other uh, instrument? No, th this is one of the things that we don't have a consensus. Um, the Latin American groups, we propose a treaty. This is our main objective. And there's a possibility to find a, a two-step solution that we'll be able to consider only in the measure that the, the second step that will be first a joint recommendation and then a tre treaty. We have said that we can consider this only if, if the second step is very clear and it's going to a treaty. And uh, why is it that a, a, a treaty is considered to be more important than, uh, for example, the joint recommendation? Um, well, here there's arguments uh, pro and con. Uh, the treaty, of course, will... Uh, it, it has... Uh, this is also not very clear, but a treaty seems to be more solid and covers more issues. The joint recommendation will be limited to uh, restricted to other issues. Uh, the benefit of the joint recommendation, which we, which we see positive, is that it can be uh, some parts of, of the things we want to solve, especially the uh, the being able to pass the. Uh, format copies from one country to another, transboundary sharing of format copies, accessible format copies. With the joint recommendation, it can be implemented very fast through the Berne Convention. So we don't have to wait for the ratification for a, a long process. Some people can be already having these format copies very fast. This is the positive things we see in this. The treaty, as I said, will cover uh, much more clearly all the issues and solve many doubts that the joint recommendation cannot do. Uh, for, for most people to do import and export of uh, laws, wouldn't they have to change their domestic law to permit the export of accessible copies? They do, but for many countries it, it can happen already. And for the United States, would they have to, uh, you think they would be able to, um, or Spain, would they be able to export their, their copies without uh, changing their domestic law? Uh, this, uh, I really don't, I'm not, uh, don't have the information in this moment, but still is the same equation because uh, if there is will, they can do these changes. Uh -huh. Some treaties, we have a sad experience that many treaties take many years to, to implement. Uh -huh. And uh, does, the, does the Mexico law currently permit import and export of accessible works? Uh, currently, no. Currently we don't, but we do have the exceptions. So for us, going through Bern, it will make it very fast. Okay, and so uh, for a person who's blind, who's living in uh, Mexico, uh, what would the impact be of solving the import-export problem, either uh, uh, through a treaty or through any mechanism, uh, so that you could share works between uh, countries that are accessible? Uh, you know, I think Mainly here the key issue is, is Spain, because Spain, they have a, a very strong blind association called ONCE, and they do have a lot of uh, information to be shared. So this will be key, you know, like to, if we can get this, this going, it will be uh, beneficial. But, uh, you know, like at the end, we're all working through a process where I think we can uh, improve all our systems. This is the, the aim.
Thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to add before I uh, conclude the interview? No, just uh, just to mention for me personally, it's been uh, a privilege to be involved in these negotiations and uh, to meet the people from the World Bank Union and uh, also uh, to know all these important issues that, that take part in the, in the copyright system. Thank you very much. That was perfect.